Athena, Sovereign, what news do you bring to me today? Wallace and Kinosan are two of your newest members within the Kingdom Discord chat. Scribbled and Peyton Ryan remain some of your most active members. Miss USA is scheduled for November 9th. Miss Universe Philippines is scheduled for October 25th. Miss Universe Thailand is scheduled for October 10th. Albania, Kosovo, Venezuela, Malta, and the Dominican Republic have all crowned and are appointed their successive queens. Also, there is a hyena lurking on the outskirts of your patience. Mimi has requested a hunt. Of course she does. The hyena. Have there been any significant developments? None that your court can see. I find no use or reason to continuously repeat myself. I've said what needs to be said on the subject. However, there were promises made and to be kept by the end of this year. If there is no follow through, then I may have something new to add to the conversation, but Mimi will wait Understood. until then. Is the court ready? Yes, they are. Then let's proceed. Hello everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If this is your first time in attendance, welcome. How are you doing? Please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave our kingdom. Now I have received all of your messages on Instagram, Twitter, my email, you guys have been letting me know that a myriad of queens have been crowned seemingly back to back within the last week. And you know what? I heard you and I'm gonna get it done. I am doing a blitz day today. I am spending all day using YouTube as an excuse to watch a numerous girls pageant videos. That's my excuse to just watch videos. Yay me. But I'm going to be filming multiple videos today. And thank you to Athena. This is your first time meeting Athena. She is one of the muses. She is my smart one. She handles all the things in the kingdom. She, we couldn't do anything without Athena. We love her. And you will be seeing more muses throughout the videos sporadically here and there. Surprisingly, you will meet more of them. Okay. Today we are here to talk about Miss World. Yes, a lot of you have inquired as to why I don't do a lot of videos on Miss World, what my feelings are towards Towards Miss World. Um, some of you have asked a very good question of why it is so difficult to predict an outcome for Miss World. We will be doing an entire video today on Miss World. Now, for those of you who are not pageant fans and you have just walked in here seemingly wanting to see me talk and make funny faces about something, welcome. Miss World is one of the top two pageants um, in popularity in the world. The top two pageants are Miss Universe and Miss World. Miss Universe is more popular amongst the Americas and the Philippines. South America, North America, and Canada, Philippines as well, maybe Thailand all typically denote Miss Universe as being the top pageant, but in the European countries, they actually favor Miss World. So these are the top two pageants that kind of have a bit of, you know, back and forth rivalry for the top spot, though they are incredibly different, which is one reason that I favor one over the other. Miss World does not have the same steps of competition that the typical pageant would have all the other pageants, Miss International, Miss Earth, Miss Grand, Miss uh, Supernational, all have the same typical elements to competition. Miss World does not, meaning Miss World does not participate in the evening gown competition and they do not participate in the swimwear competition. And for those of you who are pageant fans and you're just sitting there and you're like, well, what are the elements of competition? Yeah, I did the same thing. So let me tell you, the elements of competition. And as I'm doing this video, I'm going to be referencing the 2019 competition because that is the latest in the series of, you know, queens that have been crowned. And so I will be using that for reference points. But the stages of competition for Miss World are a purpose video. The, the women have to have a purpose and then they kind of state their purpose in a video saying what they wanna use their influence and power and crown for. A talent competition, a sports competition, a social media slash influencer competition, and a top model competition. Those are the elements of competition. And they do do interview twice, off stage, and then they do a sort of interview on stage. So before I get into that, 
you know what? But yeah, let me let me give Miss World something to just smile about, okay? Because there is one thing that I can give you guys props for, and you better hang on to this because I'm pretty sure it's the only thing you're gonna get. I'm sorry, I'm letting you know right now, I'm not exactly the happiest, but okay. I'm gonna give you guys props for your costume event, for your, um, why can I not think of the name for it? The cultural costume event where all the ladies come out and they don their cultural outfits. That is amazing. It feels like an absolute party. There is so much energy in that element of competition. I mean, and I don't even think it counts towards competition to be honest, but it's wonderful. It's incredibly entertaining. Each one of those girls get a, like a solo song that comes from their country and they all do like a, a little bit of a dance. Like it was amazing. I, I felt like all the girls were partying on stage. Now, one thing I don't like about that part of competition is the fact that you guys would have like 20 other girls behind the girl that was performing, which is fine, but it's only fine if we've already seen their costume. Don't have girls standing, you know, backstage where we can already visibly see their costume. There is no element of surprise. There is no big reveal if you have them already on stage. And that's something that I'm gonna state a lot throughout this video. You, you, you guys do that a lot. I mean, you do that a lot, but props to the energy that they brought to that first segment of competition. And quite honestly, after that, everything was downhill from there. The purpose driven element of competition is nothing special because I believe that most every pageant does have something similar to what uh, Miss World denotes as the purpose part of competition. Like every girl in Miss Universe has some sort of purpose and they usually do do some sort of video talking about their purpose. So I don't really see it as some sort of special element or anything. I like the sports though. I like the sports and I wish I could give you like super props for having the sports, but Miss World, Miss World, and this goes for a lot of your competitions. What is the point of having a competition that we cannot watch? What is the point? Explain that to me. They have a sports element of competition where they put these beauty queens through like a whole series of track day events. They do long jumps, they sprint, they do relay races and they get scores and everything. And it sounds amazing. It'd be nice if we could see it. It would be nice. And you guys are like, wait, what? Cause those of you, most of us here don't watch Miss World. And you're just like, wait, they don't show it? No, no, they don't. You know what they do in the competition? They tell us, they tell us and show a two minute clip of the girls running around and then they move on. If you're going to have an element of competition, we need to be able to watch the competition. The only thing I make exception for is the interview portion. But if you're really gonna have a sports competition, allow us to watch the competition. That sounds amazing. I want to have some sort of engagement and I want to be able to root for the girls and see the struggle. It means more to us as an audience if we get to see them struggle for those wins instead of you getting on stage and telling us who won. Congratulations so-and-so. Congratulations the Americas for running, winning the relay races. Like what is the purpose of giving us a competition that we can't watch? Which is really sad because honestly, if they like, Miss World, please consider making like a separate day where you air the full on sports competition because I would watch it. I would watch it. Everybody who has ever watched Biggest Loser knows how fun it is to watch people compete in sports and stuff. Like it would be a great portion of competition if you let us see it. So please consider maybe setting a day aside where you would air that portion of competition. It would be nice. Like I gotta tell Miss World the same thing that we tell like movie studio directors. Show us, don't tell us. You just tell us so-and-so won. We have, we have no, there is no entertainment value in that. Moving on, other because there's other things I need to talk about. The social media award. I mean, there's nothing, other competitions have the social media slash influencer award. So yeah, the issue that I'm having with these elements of competition is the lack of entertainment value. Where's the entertainment value? There is no investment from pageant fans or your audience in the competitions that we cannot see. Do you not see the problem here? If you go and watch the Miss World competition, you're gonna be bored to tears because there is seemingly no stage presentation going on. Meaning number one, you guys give the girls no solo time. They get no solo time. The performers, they, the performers that come to sing for Miss World get more solo time than your actual contestants. I'm sitting here watching a performance of someone I don't know and you're using my pageant girls as backup dancers? You're using my pageant girls as backup dancers, which you know, I would give a pass to because Miss Universe has done that before, but at least the girls themselves get their own solo time. Miss World gives them none, none. 
Throughout this competition, we are treated with several actual performers on stage, but the girls themselves don't actually get a moment to have the stage to themselves. The girls themselves do not get a moment to actually present themselves to the world, to have their little shining moment of solo stage time and have that like Disney princess, I am here, like that grand moment. They give me none. Miss World gives them nothing. And I just, I struggle to find where people find the entertainment value in this. This is what happens when you get rid of those elements of competition that really engaged an audience and you replace it with nothing. And I'm gonna bring up the top model competition here because I was confused. I was confused when I found out there was a top model competition, but you denounce or den you, like you don't wanna have an evening gown competition, but you wanna have a top model competition. Where's the logic, Miss World? organization, people, wherever you are, where is the logic in that? If you're gonna have a top model competition, why wouldn't you just give, at least give the audience and the girls themselves the moment of actually getting to see them on stage and see them walk? Because apparently the girls actually do walk on a runway and present designers from their, I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. Apparently there is a moment where the girls get to walk on a runway and present their designers to a panel of judges and they get to do like a full on runway show but the, the primary audience doesn't get to see it apparently. Apparently we, we're not important enough to put that in the final show. Apparently the girls aren't important enough to let them have a moment, a glorious moment on stage. What is, what is the problem with having an evening gown competition, Miss World? I get why people gripe about the swimwear competition. It's dumb. It is dumb. There is a purpose to the swimwear competition, but I get that being that Miss World is a different type of organization that looks for a certain type of wim woman but why not have an evening gown competition? You have these girls wearing thousand dollar dresses already, but you don't give them or us their shining moment. Where is the audience engagement? Where is the performance value? I see no th these poor girls. <sighs> These poor girls, you, you guys get nothing. You get nothing. You play backup dancers to your to the performers that are on stage, but you don't get your own moment. Disrespectful, disrespectful. Cause basically throughout the entire show, I'm sitting here watching the show. All they do is show us clips of the girls doing stuff that we would have liked to see and then tell us who won. That's it. We don't actually really get to see the girls compete until maybe the top five, I think, sit on stage and do an interview type of question sitting in a chair and they answer a question. Like that's about it. That's about all we get to see in the final performance. I looked for like a preliminary competition, but apparently that's not anywhere on the internet. And either way, your finale should be a finale. And God, the Miss World finale is anything but. These lack of competition elements is what makes it so difficult for anyone to predict the outcome of Miss World. When it comes to Miss Universe, we understand the elements of competition and we understand that it, it takes skill to compete in those. You don't just walk in a swimsuit. You don't just walk in an evening gown. It does take an amount of skill that we as an audience can gauge ourselves, which makes it interesting and fun for us to watch the same as any sport. If we can watch these competitors show off their skill set, it makes it easier for us to understand why they're good and be able to predict who's going to be good. But Miss World argu arguably doesn't really have competition elements. You really don't. You really don't. Your competition could be done in essay form. There's nothing for people to see. And unless the girls are uploading their track times on Instagram, how, how are we gonna predict the outcome of their social media performance? Uh, the talent competition. Most girls keep their talents under wrap until day of competition. Like there is nothing for us as an audience or fans for us to judge. There's nothing for us to partake in, which makes this entire pageant very lackluster and it's just not fun because there's, there's no elements of fun for us as an audience to participate in. Half the fun, of watching pageants as us of an, as an audience being able to see and know who's good. Like, oh wow, she's doing great. Oh wow, she looks great. Oh wow, that turn was amazing. There is skill here. There is arguably no skill set required for Miss World. Understanding you do at least have to be a decent public speaker. Understanding you at least have to be decent at sports, maybe. But in the grand scheme of the big five, big six pageants, depending on if you admit the grand competition or not, I won't get into that. But depending on that, Miss World has the lowest bar, lowest level of skill required in order to compete. Now, I love the girl that they chose for Miss World. I'm gonna be totally honest. That girl is a doll. She's beautiful. She's amazing. She's bubbly and I love her in every way. But if I sat here and I'm totally honest with the rest of the court, if she competed in Miss Universe, I think all of us pageant fans would just be like, she has no shot not a chance at winning a Miss Universe competition because, and this is another reason that I am not a Miss World type of 
person fan pageant girl at all is because Miss World it's very obvious that they look for a specific type of woman. It is very obvious that Miss World is catering to the traditional classic sense of what a feminine female should be. And I am wholeheartedly against that. Um, understanding that there are women in the world that are more conservative. There are countries that prefer a more conservative pageant and Miss World is catering to that, but that's not the type of person that I am. And it's just not something that I personally advocate for. I am not going to advocate for women to be forced to be traditional in any sense. I feel like women should be whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. I feel like Miss World would be less accepting of most women such as myself. I have the ability to be a very classy woman and I could easily compete in Miss World, but that would re that would require me to restrict and hide parts of myself that would be untrue to who I am. Everybody here knows, if you've been around my channel, I am a wacky person. I can be crazy. I can be incredibly feisty. I can be outlandish. I'm very creative. I'm outspoken, but I don't see Miss World being able to accept me in the entire capacity of who I am as a person. They seemingly require a very demure, quiet, respectful, um, conservative type of woman. And though I am capable and most women are capable of fulfilling those roles and pretending, you know, to be demure and quiet, who wants to be a part of a society or community that doesn't accept you as who you are? Where I feel like Miss Universe is much more accepting of any type of woman, no matter how outlandish you may be or different you may be or unconventional you may be. You can be demure on a Miss Universe stage. You can be um, conservative on Miss Universe stage, but you can be outlandish. You can be wacky. You can be confident. You can be fierce. You can be all these powerful different things and Miss Universe will accept you no matter what. And I don't get that same feeling from Miss World. In my eyes as a pageant fan, it really seems like Miss World has a real issue dealing with women's femininity, sexuality, or, you know, the all encompassing things that women can be in general. No, there is no one type of woman. And I think that Miss World really does cater to one or two different types of women, as opposed to being welcoming and encompassing to all. Now, even with that mindset of Miss World wanting to cater to a more conservative type of woman, um, the competition could still be much more entertaining. It really could. It really seems like, like, I get it. Miss World is really catering to a Disney princess overall type of look. I'm all for a Disney princess type of feel. Like, have you met me? Look at my YouTube channel. I am all for some Disney magic over here, but you don't even give me that. Like every, think about it. Every Disney princess we have ever seen always has that one shining moment of when she finally either realizes herself, like, or she gets that moment in her very special gown. The first time we see Cinderella in her, you know, ball gown. The first time we see Sleeping Beauty in her ball gown. The first time we see Tiana, like every Disney princess has her moment and Miss World, you're not even giving those girls that. You're like, you're not giving me the magic. Where's the magic, Miss World? Where is the, where's the lighting? Where's the glorious music? Where is the drama? You can still give those entertainment factors while still catering to the conservative viewpoint that you clearly seem hard pressed to not give up. The conservativeness of Miss World is also a reason why you will see younger queens crowned in Miss World than you will see in Miss Universe. Because Miss Universe is a higher bar of competition and is physically, mentally, it's just a more demanding competition, it requires more skill. And typically you're gonna have older women giving more skill because they're older. Obviously not to say that a younger woman can't win Miss Universe, but that is a very skill-based competition and it is a very demanding competition. I mean, it, de it demands confidence, maturity, fierceness, like it requires all of that. Unless you are very realized at a younger age, it's gonna be very difficult to be completely and fully confident in yourself. It's usually something you develop over time as was stated in my confidence video, but it is fully capable of an 18 year old to win Miss Universe. But it's easier for younger women to win Miss World because like I said, it's a lower threshold of competition and skill. Anyways, this is the video that you guys have asked for discussing Miss World. Now, most of these things are things that we all knew, but maybe somebody just needed to say it out loud. Miss World, you could do a little better. Also, there are some things that are not on your website that should be. I mean, thank you, Miss World America for your professionalism. America usually handles their pageants very, very professionally. Why is the information for your pageant not on your main website, Miss World? why i'm over here looking up the elements of competition and they don't have them on the website like get your lives together okay i do expect a bit of professionalism from international pageants thank you 
But of course I do support the girls that compete in Miss World. I am, you got, I'm a drama queen. Okay, so of course I like Miss Universe, obviously. Um, am I gonna watch Miss Grand? Yes. I'm a drama queen, but I respect all pageant girls. And Catriona went from Miss World to Miss Universe and won. The girls ba bounce back and forth between competitions, but it is important for those of you who are watching to choose a pageant that is best suited to you. Yes, I will do a video on the differences between the big pageants so you know if you don't know, but try to find a pageant that is best suited to you. If you're very flamboyant, extra woman, Miss Grand is maybe be your thing. At the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're way more conservative, Miss World. In the middle, you have Miss Universe. So there's differences between the pageants. I'll do a video. Thanks for sitting here with me for this Miss World discussion. Ladies, I love you all, no matter which co competition you will be performing or competing in. And I do keep track of a lot of you, even those of you who are competing in Miss World. Oh, surprise. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the Miss World competition. Are you a former or current or future Miss World competitor? Are you a fan of Miss World? Like, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think there's anything that they could be improving on? Do you like it the way it is? Just let me know. Thanks for sitting here. I love you and I will miss you, but you know I will be back in a future video. Bye!